Hi everybody, I'm Dave Kaufman and I'm here right now in downtown Bangkok, Thailand. It's a hot and sweltering day as usual, but we're in for a real treat as we get a behind the scenes tour at the Queen Sawapa Memorial Institute Snake Farm. The anti-venom that this institute produces saves thousands of lives every year here in Thailand. So let's go start our tour here on Zilla Presents Herpers TV. The history of our institute is go back in 1922 when King Rama V or King Mushra would founded this institute in memory of his august mother Queen Sawaka. And at that time, uh, Thai people have the problem when bitten by venomous snake. We the imported anti venom were were not effective for treatment. The buy by the buy of venomous snake in Thailand. So we decide the like, uh, doctor Ray Paul Robert, the first director of the institute, held the Thai monash, gather the, the budget or the funds to set the snake farm in order to keep venomous snake and get the venom for anti venom production for Thai venomous snake. And the snake farm then founded in 1923, one year later. Right now, the, the institute, the snake farm, our activity is about research, educational service, and for tourists. In our facility, we have a thousand snakes from more than 40 species, non-venomous and venomous snakes. Yeah. Some of them we have to used for demonstration as to the public. The first and the second floor open for the public education and upstairs for research. Dr. Chanholm invited me and the crew into the room where the venom extraction demonstration was held to educate the public on how snakes are milked, something no other film crew has ever had the privilege of doing before. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Simasek, building of snake farm. Queen Sawapa have already introduced the Thai Race Coast Society. This building was named Sima Snake Building. It's named for snakes because of the prince and princess of Thailand. This is Malayan pig fiber. Scientific name is Kalosalasma Brutoscoma. In Thai, we call it Kappa. In 1994, we, I set a breeding program. Uh, at the time, the main purpose is breeding venomous snake uh, to get the venom for anti-venom production. The venom that we extract here in our snake farm, the first priority is su supply to anti-venom production here in our institute only. And the other is supply to the research in country and sometimes the people collaborate with us from abroad that we do the research together. Since we have our facility from keeping the snake, extract the venom and end it with the anti-venom production, we, we plow that our product can supply to the people, to the hospital when they get bitten uh, this antivenom can save its life because the, this is the effective treatment when the people bitten. The fresh venom will, will be lyophilized and keep in dry form and dry venom will send to our host farm in another province. I can say it's in Prachuap Kilikan or Wohin, the, the district. Wahin district in Prachot Kilikan, down south of Bangkok. In that farm, we immunize the horse and correct the plasma and then send plasma to back to Bangkok to another department to produce anti-venom here. Yeah. In Snake Farm, we have three veterinarians, one surgist, one PR, and the last is the snake handler. In this morning, we have two follow-up cases, two snakes, 
that we will follow up from it. It had an uh, operation and got surgery for three months ago. The incision was made here to reduce the prolapse rectum over here. Inside, we pull back. We pull the prolapsing rectum inside. Now it's time to remove the stitches. Normally, when we surgery a snake, we will uh, after the stitch, we will have to wait around one shedding cycle, or maybe six week to eight week. Then the wound will heal completely, and then we will remove the stitches. And we will check the wound again tomorrow. This floor is something like for breeding, yeah, for for our breeding program, yeah. That means some room keep as a nursery, yeah. But sometimes it's mixed <laughs> because of the space. But we try to divide it in in room for each species, yeah. Dr. Chanholm then led us into a room of what she rightfully called very special species. Some of these vipers are only recently discovered, but are being bred at the farm to ensure that they provide anti-venom for all species of Thailand. Because anti-venom is not only species specific, it can also be locality specific as in the case of king cobras. By having the largest and most diverse collection of native venomous snakes in the whole country, the institute can ensure that even if someone is bitten by one of these rare snakes, they will have the proper anti-venom on hand at a moment's notice. She also explained that by keeping and breeding these snakes, it dramatically reduces the number of snakes taken from the wild to be used at the farm including this one, one of the only species of vipers that lay eggs. I had only briefly heard of some of these snakes before, let alone getting to see them for the first time. Needless to say, this was my favorite room in the entire institute. And this, just an easy way how we incubate the eggs. These uh, cobra eggs, we set just only the bucket, and inside the bucket we put the water, then the the, the air and humidity circulate during the incubation period. If you if we can correct quickly from mother when she lay egg, mm -hmm. like this this class is one hundred percent hatching. Yeah, as we said, the uh, captive breeding program in our snake farm in nineteen ninety four. Then we have to breeding the species that we need for venom extraction for sure that we got the stable, healthy and species confirmed for snake venom. And this room keep uh, king cobra from uh, many provinces of Thailand for our study. We compare DNA and many breeding, whatever we, we need to do. As you know that the, our institute is the WSO collaborating center on venomous snake toxicology and research. Then not only extract the venom for anti-venom production, we have to run the research on venom, snake venom. For example, we have the king cobra from Samusa Khan is in the close to Bangkok. Yeah. And from the north from the south to compare the, the, the venom, the type. The one that he is screening the case is, is by donation, but we keep it since the juvenile baby. Yeah. Now about six years old. Yeah. Its pattern is uh, typical of King Cobra in the central part of Thailand. Uh, this group we feed mainly frogs because for to feed them with the snake as in the nature is difficult to us. To find it. because now we have in our collection about 35 to 40 king cobra. Many of Thai people they don't know that um, we are here. Some very surprised the first visit that oh there's snake from here and right now they know us from internet, from Facebook, from uh, social network and for Thai people still limit. Then we have to promote our institute in, in many ways. Oh. And from this is something like we can 
promote what we do here. Not only demonstrate the, the snack to the tourists, but we give the education to the people. For the first night of today, we begin with the King Cobra. King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world that we found only in rainforest throughout of South Asia, Southeast Asia, and some part of China. It feeds on small snake that we call snake eater. As we grow up since we found this institute, then for our future, of course, we, we need to educate the people is the, the main purpose of the snake farm. And not only for Thai people, since we joined the ASEAN AEC, then I plan to, to open for our neighboring country. And for research, of course, now we collaborate with many, many groups in the other country. I hope that uh, to study more deep in, in the venom research because we have more than 50 species of venomous snake that just some about 10 to, to 15 species that we study is biological activity. Anyway, with the effective treatment by anti-venom and we could say it's a specific treatment for whoever bitten by venomous snake, the, the number of fatality of people die is declined. Yeah. Share a herp fact. Everyone knows something that others may not know. Share a herp fact in the comments below as it pertains to this episode and let's help educate ourselves and others about these amazing animals. You know there are over 10,000 venomous snake bites in this country alone. But thanks to the Institute and their hard work and dedication to saving people's lives, there are only 12 fatalities per 100,000 snake bites. That is astounding. This was a real treat to see how venom extraction was done and the education that is being done at this institute to not only educate the public here in Thailand, but all over the world about these beautiful animals that yes, although being venomous, does not necessarily make them dangerous. So tune in and subscribe for more episodes filmed here in the incredible country of Thailand. And we will see you next time on Zilla Presents Herpers TV.